You would expect sitting at home in your, your home in Orlando or wherever you are in the country listening to this address today, that we have a very comprehensive system to stop health care fraud. That if the government is spending billions of dollars, trillions of dollars over time on health care, that we would have you know, hundreds and thousands of people who would be working to stop health care fraud. We would have sophisticated computer models that stopped health care fraud before it happened. Mr. President, it's simply not true. Well, why can't we do the same thing that credit card companies are doing for health care? Why can't we use a predictive modeling system that says that a health care claim is not going to be paid when a red flag comes up? We could certainly agree, Mr. President, that we should not have waste, fraud, and abuse. And if we can cut out $60 billion to more than $200 billion a year by simply putting somebody in charge of health care fraud prevention, put predictive modeling in like we have in the credit card business, and not let people be health care providers unless they have a background check, and if they're a criminal, not let them provide health care, we can save billions of dollars. And those dollars can go back into Medicare which is running a deficit. It is uh, very much uh, in vogue in Washington to propose grand new plans, and I understand that. But we need to be focused and have as much zeal about grand new plans as running the programs we have efficiently, effectively.